What you're about to witness is the most intense 1v1 of my entire life. But before we get into the game, I need to give you some backstory to this. So what happened was I was hitting rock bottom. I mean, I was losing so much LP in a short amount of time. I went on an insane lose streak and I was extremely tilted. And the thing is that I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a brother who's in challenger. Well, not in challenger, but he's in plat. So basically challenger, but with bad teammates. <laughs> so basically he was flaming me for being bad at the game. So I challenged him to a 1v1 and he wanted to raise the stakes. Since I'm so much higher ranked than him, I decided that I was confident enough to pick any champion and as well as let him play any champion. So he played Viora in this game and I played a champion that I'm relatively comfortable with, my Fizz. So in this game, it's a 1v1 first to five series and there was money on the line. So if my brother wins, he gets 50 bucks because I'm more experienced than him. And if I win, I get 10 bucks. So if I lose this game, not only am I losing my pride to my little brother, but I'm also losing my money. So the thing is, this game is super intense and in the beginning, I'm just chilling, everything is going smoothly, but near the end, you may witness the most intense comeback that you have ever seen. And I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I'll just let the 1v1 play and you guys decide for yourself and comment down below if you wanna see more videos like this. And also I'm gonna be doing a giveaway announcement somewhere in the middle of the video, I think. So just watch the entire video and you won't miss it. Anyways, let's get right into the game. All right, so we are doing a 1v1 with my brother now, and I'm gonna change my runes like this. So Champion, Regeneration, and Sweet Tooth. However, these are not the runes I recommend with Fizz. Like, don't go this rune setup. Also, since I am playing against Fiora, I will be taking Morlanomicon first item. But yeah, I don't recommend taking these items or build. All right, so we loaded into the game and the first thing I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna be prioritizing Morlanomicon because we are playing against Fiora and she has so much heal. So we need to do that. And the thing is right now, Fizz kind of sucks level one and level two. And we can't really go for trades because Fiora is probably just gonna try to poke us with her first skill. So what we wanna do is just grab CS safely with her his uh, first skill and we don't wanna play aggressively especially on the first couple of waves. He's probably camping one of the bushes. Yeah, there he is. So we can just you can just pick up CS like that, like really safely. And he should be playing, yeah. So he wants to poke my vitals, but I'm not gonna let him. Let's see if we can get that, okay. So yeah, see, I was a bit too greedy there and I got poked like crazy. So you wanna be playing mostly safe because Fizz, uh, and I, as I say that, I'm gonna get poked. So I think, yeah. So, you can't really do anything with Fizz level one. So, oh yeah, I took the Sweet Tooth rune, so I did get a lot of sustain from that. However, it's still gonna be a pain playing these first few levels out. At level three, we can start trading back, because that's where Fizz unlocks his combo. I should probably stop talking because I'm missing so much CS now, but, Basically, after Fizz lets, hits level 3, then you can go for his uh, first skill into second skill, like auto attack reset, and then third skill to be safe. And Fiora has an immune, so before you go for all-ins, you want to bait that out, or else you can just immune your third skill. So you don't want to be engaging with that most of the time. So you can just go for a quick burst trade here. And let's not let her hit my vitals. Alright, so she's really low here, so we're going to be going for an all-in. Yeah, she can't do anything. We're just gonna freeze the wave. And she can't do anything at all. Oh, she took her honey fruit. Oh no, I, I forgot about that. So yeah, she wasted her immune, so we can go for a quick trade. You wanna usually be do, do doing three hit combos with Fizz, as it'll proc electrocute. If she goes in again, then we can just flash and get the kill. All right, now we have ult up. I think I'm just gonna recall real quick. Oh no, we can cheese her. Oh, 
Oh, she took barrier. Yes. Okay, we got the first blood. Too easy. Okay, I think she also... My brother probably took champion as well. So that's going to be a pretty big kill. Let's just shove this out. And yeah. So that's pretty big because my brother probably took champion. So he just got like a 5%. Decrease in damage and now we have a pretty secure lead and I think I'm just gonna quickly Buy wait, no, I'm gonna buy a boot Also, I'm gonna be going for uh, Ninja tabbies against Fiora because she's 80 so the thing about going against Fiora is you don't want to go for burst traits I mean you want to go for burst traits. You don't want to go for extended traits, especially against 80 champions and so that's why we're not going for, we're just going for quick burst traits to chunk her down with Electrocute. Fiora should be winning this matchup most of the time because she is a 1v1 champion. She's played in the Baron lane. We can just shove this out. Oh wait, we, we can't even roam or anything. I just realized that we can't even roam. Get Electrocute. Oh wait, I may have made a grave mistake. Now nah, we're good. Okay, we were almost not good. Well, that's my brother in the other room. All right, so we were able to escape. Yup, he has slow reaction speed, so we are able to pull off the third skill. Usually you don't wanna be pulling that out, but since he has slow reaction speed, we can use the third skill blindly. I think we can go for the, the river. Honey fruits really quickly. Oh, I guess I guess we can kind of roam, but just like quick roams to the honey fruit. All right. So we can go for another burst trade. Nice. So that's our second kill. So right there, uh, what happened was I think her immune timing was off. So we were able to get the third skill, and we should shove this wave and then recall. Because there's no jungle pressure, we have no real reason to recall right now. So it's just better just to play a little bit more greedy and then shut out this wave. And then recall. So we are decisively winning now and we're going to be able to get more Lanomicon so that he can't even heal. And the next thing I'm going to rush is Death Cap. I don't recommend this build again. Um, You don't want to be playing this build. It's like extremely horrible unless you're playing Fiora mid or something. But I'm just taking it because you want to build anti-heal against Fiora. Let's see if he can immune my ult. He didn't immune it for some reason. Oh crap, okay, he immune everything else. Oh, we might be dead. We might be dead here. Oh no, oh, okay, that's unfortunate. Can go for this trade. And, yep. So, yeah, I just kind of used my third skill to like immune her immune, so. Kind of an Uno reverse card right there. Actually, she won't be respawning, so we can just shove this wave out as well. Yeah, 1v1 is a lot different than how you'd play in a normal game, and usually Fiora wouldn't. Fiora shouldn't lose this kind of matchup because Fizz's main strength is roaming, and Fiora is good in 1v1 and split pushing, staying in lane basically but I'm winning, basically punishing her mistakes. I'm not really a mechanical player, um, but I'm more of a macro player, but I'm still able to punish his mistakes. So <laughs> we're basically, this, this, if I lose now, it's just gonna be so embarrassing, but I think we got this game pretty much in the bag. We have like a two level lead now. Um, and he really, she re like my brother can't really do anything here. Um, so <laughs> I guess that's ten dollars in the bag. Um, let's go for a quick burst trade. Yo, yeah. So the thing about auto attack resets is even if they flash it, it will always go off if you do it really, really fast. So that's what happened there. I'm gonna burn his immune and then go for an all in. I don't think he knows the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe we're gonna be able to get the kill. One more. Ah, oh, he survived that one HP. Come on. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we still got this game. We can just push this turret because he's in base. 
and there's no jungle pressure. So we did get that first turret. I wonder if we oh wait no we we can we can buy death cap here. And then after death cap, I'm also gonna buy ninja tabbies against Fiora. Cause we need that armor. Um, where is it? So yeah, we basically won this 1v1 and so yeah, we basically won this 1v1. All right, so at this point, I actually turned off my microphone because I thought the 1v1 would be an easy and clean win. Little did I know that my brother had a lot up his sleeve. So I was brimming with confidence and I turned off the microphone because I thought this was just going to be an uninteresting video and I would easily win the 1v1. However, what you're about to witness is instant karma for me being so confident and cocky. At this point, I was getting really impatient, and here I went for a really, really stupid turret dive against Fiora when she had her, her immune up. So what happened was I was just trying to end the game quickly because I know Fiora scales a bit better than Fizz, so I wanted to use my lead. However, this was a really, really stupid turret dive. I would not recommend anyone playing like this, and an unlucky vital spawn does take my death. All right, so now I was stressed because I just lost 5% damage because of I lost my ta champion stacks and that caused me to go for another stupid play because I was worried about Fiora scaling into the game and I wanted to end the game as soon as possible. However, Fiora is able to turn the tables on me and turn this turret dive around because I took way too many turret shots and it was again another stupid dive by me because I was again super tilted. After a very close fight, I do secure the kill, making my score 4 to 2, and this allows me to be just one point away from finishing off the game. However, I go on autopilot and make a very huge mistake, and that's taking down the inhibitor turret. And what taking down the inhibitor turret does is that it enables my minions to become super minions. So, what this allows is it allows Fiora to farm much safer and set up freezes so much more easily and her just to play on her side of the map. So I make this huge mistake. Now that I've lost both my champion stacks and I'm under so much pressure and the momentum is all shifting into Fiora's favor, I'm super low health and Fiora's full health, but for some reason I think that I can still hit the Nexus and this is why it's really important in Wild Rift to control your emotions and not to get tilted. I made this extremely stupid choice because I was under so much pressure and I was so tilted. And that ends up giving Fiora another kill. Alright, so things are looking very grim because Fiora outscales me. However, she pushed out the wave and there are still a few minions left that I can use. And this gives me one last idea and one last chance to try to bring this game back. And that is to stack up as big of a wave as possible, crash it into the enemy nexus, and hope and pray that I'll have enough damage to take down the nexus. Alright, so in the end, we were able to take the dub, and it was actually a way closer match than I expected, 
and I was way too cocky at the start. So if you did enjoy this match and you wanna see more, then leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below. Also, a giveaway is gonna be done, so I did earn $10 in this match, so I'm gonna be giving that away on a live stream where I will be streaming the Dragon Riders games and there is a tournament that will be streamed starting tomorrow actually and there's going to be a bunch of good games so be sure to watch if you want to have some amazing content and I'm going to be giving away a skin during one of the streams. So with that being said, I love you guys so much and thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!